The man weighs 200 pounds and is leaning back so he can pull on that door handle as hard as he can. How hard can he pull and how far back does he lean? First thing to do, of course, is our free body diagram. Of your free body diagram, you're going to consider two, four, t two or three forces acting on the man. Clearly, there's going to be this normal force here at his feet. And, presuming he's not actually sliding toward the door, there's going to be this force friction force. Now in terms of trying to figure out which way that friction force goes, consider the handle itself. The man is pulling on the handle. That means essentially the handle is pulling on the man. The ma as you pull on a door handle, your feet want to slide toward the door. So friction opposes the sliding toward the door. So friction points to the left. Three feet off the ground is our P, and we've got this D as a distance between N and the center of gravity, which produces the weight. That's our free body diagram. Equations of equilibrium say F equals P, W equals N, and the sum of the moments at, say, his foot gives me W times D equals P times 3. So the distance he wants to lean back is going to be 3P over W, whatever those numbers are. We don't actually know any of them until we consider that he needs to not slide toward the door. F cannot exceed mu times n. So the maximum F is 0.5, that's our static coefficient, times n, or 0.5 times 200 pounds. So the maximum friction force I can have is 100 pounds. F is equal to P, so this is my P. That's as hard as he can pull. I want to plug that into D to get 1.5 feet. Now I can answer the question. The man can pull at 100 pounds by positioning his center of gravity 1.5 feet behind his feet.